If you are looking for something to do with the kiddos this summer, we'll take a road trip down to Indy and visit the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And joining me today is Hyacinth Rucker, who is the manager of media and PR. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Well, thank you for being here. And I just love that you all have so much to offer um, at your children's museum. I mean, you have so many cool exhibitions that we are going to dive into. But first, kind of give us an overview of the children's museum and what people can really expect over the summer. Well, I like to tell people that it is the world's largest children's museum right here in the state of Indiana. Wow. And it does not disappoint. I promise you, if you make that trip down, you will be like, wow, I can't believe I haven't been here before if you haven't, because it is something to see a day of fun. And I tell people it's really hard to get it done in a day. Um, so you may want to try and plan for two days. Yeah. <laughs> spend <an> overnight <laughs> there. Uh, but it is it has so much to offer for the entire family. Oh, that is awesome. And it is just a quick trip. I mean, what, an hour and a half, I think, from Fort Wayne. So an easy mm -hmm. breezy road trip to be able to explore. And part of what you all have to offer are different exhibits. And I know right now you just kicked off one this past weekend. So tell me about the first um, exhibit, Mandela. Yes, our Mandela, the official exhibition, just opened and it is an amazing exhibit. You're gonna learn about the freedom fighter, his life, his legacy, everything that he did, you know, throughout the course of his life from being, from early on as a child through, of course, you know, being in prison to him being out and um, becoming the president. So oh. it's just, it, it's a, a, wow. a great story. I think that is still something that's pertinent today, right? Um, helping make the world a better place. Yes, yes, absolutely. And just perfect timing um, for this month and something new that many kids may not have heard of him or just really know his story and history. So that should be fun to explore. And that exhibit is running now until January 20th, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. In 2025. Yes. Right? 2025 so plenty of be here time. Before you know it. I know, which is so crazy. Okay. So next, this one's cool and kind of nostalgic. You have Nickelodeon's Teenage um, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yes. Secrets of the Sewer. And yes, this is a fan favorite. It has traveled all across the country and it is making its final stop where it started it was actually created by our ex exhibition team mm. um, and it is really something fun to go in and have a good time i will tell you i have seen more dads come out than i normally <laughs> see <laughs> because of the nostalgia you know it's mm -hmm. the teenage mutant ninja turtles just recently celebrated 40 years right wow. um and so you gotta imagine you got your 30 and 40 year olds <laughs> that grew up you know, mm -hmm. loving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so they're, I mean, it's women too, of course, but right. um, it's brought out more dads than I, I have seen in the past, <laughs> which is fun. Yeah, which which is, uh, it's so cool when all these um, memories and just old shows and just movies Toys. are brought back because we're <laughs> like, oh my God. We can experience it again and reintroduce it to our kids, or our nieces, nephews. So that makes it so fun. Um, and this exhibit is running until September 2nd? Yes, it'll be running until September 2nd. Come all summer long, um, right before Labor Day, right? Yes. So, um, yes, come on and, and, and see that exhibit before it leaves, because this is the final run. The it final run. Oh, my it, goodness. It's done after that. So, yes. yeah, don't miss out on that. OK. <laughs> and then um, you, the next exhibit that we're going to talk about is really interesting. So Riley's health, but it's like a sports experience. Tell me all about it. Right. So it's more of a um, it, it's Riley Children's Health Sports Legends experience. So it's mm -hmm. more of an experience um, and it is amazing. I can tell you any sport that you can think of is probably represented out there. So oh. football, basketball, tennis, um, track, uh, I'm just trying to think, golf, uh, so many different things, hockey that you can do. Mm -hmm. And it, we like to tell people that they are mini size mm -hmm. and that they're, you, if you're a little one, there's something for you to do. If you're in middle size, yeah. you know, there's something, it's going to be something for for you to be able to do. And then 
of course, adults. So the whole family can be out there enjoying the all of the different um, sports activities out there. Yeah, and so, and it really hits on a lot of the teams that's in Indiana, which is really cool. And so is this more of an immersive experience? Like, can they play games or are they just like learning the history? No, no, they're gonna, gonna play games. Okay. So there are coaches out there, they can play basketball, wow. they can actually kick a football, they can play soccer. I don't I don't think I, I said that. There's even um, um, pedal car racing, because yeah. um, you know, the Speedway is a big thing in Indianapolis. <laughs> so I mean, you can definitely play every sport um, and there's like, like even when it comes to tennis, so there's smaller rackets, so the yeah. little ones can play. Oh my goodness, I love that. And so this health, this health sports legends experience will be until November 1st, okay? So people yes. have time over the summer into the fall to get that mm -hmm. road trip in or make it two road trips. Like you said, there's so much to explore. And with you all being so large, um, you all are coming up on a really cool milestone. So next year you're it's celebrating 100 years. <laughs> Yes, it is our centennial. We are busy in planning stages right now for it yeah. because we are excited and we want to celebrate 100 years um, with the community and just, you know, those that come and, and appreciate our museum from all over the world. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Great advice. Plan accordingly so you can get the most out of your day and the most out of your road trip. And I have to tell our viewers, guess what? Well, we are giving away a family four pack. For one lucky viewer, thanks to our friends at the Children's Museum of Indy. So this is how you submit into this contest. You can head over right now to our Facebook page to submit your entry and good luck. And thank you so much for the tickets. <laughs> You're welcome and good luck to the winner. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody out there trying. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much um, for joining me today. And it was just a joy to learn about your museum. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> and if you'd like more information about the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, we'll have their website listed below. And don't forget to head over to our Facebook page to enter to win a family four pack so you can plan that road trip this summer. And I'll see you after the break.